Hello, why does this do this? Well, they're magnets, right? And right now, the same side of each magnet is facing each other, so they push apart. We say, they repel. Now, you may have heard that opposites attract. Opposites attract. Opposites attract. Positive, negative, boom. There it is right there, simple. Opposites attract. Well, it's true. Watch. See that? They pull together. They attract. These magnets are made of iron. And iron is full of electrons, tiny particles that spin around the outside of atoms. Now, when electrons are moving, we call that electricity. So watch. When I close this switch, electricity starts flowing through this wire. And look, the needles of these compasses line up in a circle. Whenever electricity is flowing, a magnetic field forms. So here are the magnets. But where's the electricity? Well, let's say that this is a microscopic view of iron. And the electrons are spinning around in little areas called domains. Now, normally, the domains are pointing all different directions. The electrons are spinning all which way. But when iron is magnetized, the domains line up. And it's the lined up domains, the lined up little currents of electricity that make iron, nickel, or cobalt a magnet. Our planet, the Earth, is full of iron and nickel. And the Earth is spinning. The iron and nickel is so hot, it's always churning and burning. It's moving. So its electrons are moving. The moving electrons make a magnetic field. The Earth is like a giant magnet. And that magnetism is the same thing that makes compasses point north. The magnetism is looping through our bodies our whole lives. In fact. It's going through you right now. Isn't that wild? Well, thank you for joining me on Consider the Following. The Earth's magnetic field extends way out into space. Charged particles from the sun, called solar wind, hit the Earth's atmosphere, and the Earth's magnetic field makes the air glow. Now, where the Earth's magnetic field is the strongest is at the poles. So that's where the air glows the most. Up here, we call the glowing the northern lights or aurora borealis. Down here, we call the glowing the southern lights, or aurora australis. Anyway, we end up with these big belts of charged particles held in space by the Earth's magnetic field. They're called the Van Allen belts, named after the United States physicist who discovered them. The Earth's not the only place with a magnetic field. The sun's got one, too. The sun's magnetic field causes sunspots, and they can make your television picture go fuzzy sometimes. I got some more news for you. If you're on Venus, Mars, or the moon, you won't be needing this compass. You know why? They don't have magnetic fields, because their cores don't have enough molten liquid metal, and they don't spin fast enough to cause the churning and burning that you need to have a planetary magnetic field. But on Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, there are magnetic fields. On Jupiter, the magnetic field is 20,000 times stronger than the Earth's. On Saturn, it's 10 times stronger. On Uranus and Neptune, it's 100 times stronger. On Mercury, the magnetic field is 100 times weaker than the Earth's. You know what else? The galaxy itself has a magnetic field. But it's millions of times weaker than the Earth. But it's out here somewhere. This is Magnetic or Not. An aluminum bicycle. Magnetic or Not. More cold hard cash. Magnetic or Not. The planet Jupiter. Magnetic or Not. This has been another Magnetic or Not.